Assalamualaikum, I'm Hani Nabila. First of all, as introduction to this presentation, the implementation of Muamalah contract used by the Islamic Banking Industry in Malaysia is based on the guidelines provided by the Sharia Advisory Council of Bank Negara Malaysia. As the Muamalah contract covers in the aspect of Muamalah and has made business interests and important in the process of economic life and to preserve the right of every person. So in the home financing system, home financing is a new branch of home financing. This is because home financing is an equity financing where the financing provided by the owner of the capital to the moderate is based on equity. However, there are differences between the home loan facility in the conventional bank and in the Islamic financing institution where Islamic financing apply product named as home financing which is the contract uh, of either by Bisamani Ajil or Musharaka Mutana Kisah. This is said to satisfy the Sharia as well as customer need. In the application of the Islamic banking system, the bank acts as partner to its customer by providing financing on the concept of Musharaka. And then for the research background, when you use Musharaka in home financing, Musharaka Mutanakisa is an alternative contract that can be offered under home financing or as diminishing partnership. This contract may be entered into two or more parties on a particular asset or venture, which allows one partner purchase the other partner's share gradually through an agreed redemption method of the Musharaka contract. To accomplish this purpose, the study only uh, analyzed home financing product by Musharaka Mutanakisa in one French institution only, namely RHB Islamic Bank Berhad. The choice of this institution was made because RHB Islamic Bank Berhad is one of the first local Islamic banks to offer the product. So, this presentation will discuss the home financing product offered by RHBIB, which is Equity Home Financing I, include the operation and advantage of uh, Equity Home Financing I, and to analyze Musharaka Mutanakisa application, uh, challenge and issues in RHBIB. Hello and Assalamualaikum. So, for the next one is Problem Statement. So, as you can see in the slide, Musharaka Mutanakisa was known as a diminishing contract that ends with an ownership. And this product was introduced by Bank Negara Malaysia to be implemented in Islamic banking. However, some of the Islamic banking are not willing to accept this product because they are not willing to share the same risks and losses with their depositors and clients. And they thought that this product are not bringing any benefits and advantages to them. So in our case study, we will be focusing more about Masyarakat Mutanikisa product in RHB Islamic Bank and there will be further discussion about this product in RHB Islamic Bank. Is the objective of our studies. Before that, my name is Dalila Pedisaf Badrila from IC 2.0.1. So our first objective is to analyze the application and the operation of Musharaka Mutanakisa specifically on the RHB Islamic Bank behind. And the second one is to interpret the advantages of using this Musharaka Mutanakisa contract in the bank. And the last one is to evaluate the challenges and issues that arise when using this Musharaka Mutanakisa contract in banks. Hi, uh, I'm Aisha Naila. So next, we move on to the scope of this study. Regarding home financing, there are five main products offered by Islamic banks in Malaysia, namely Baik Bitamana Ajil, BBA, Musharaka Mutanakisa, MM, Ijar Muntahiyah Bit Tamlik, Komoditi Morobaha, and Istisna. According to Bank Negara Malaysia, there are currently 16 licensed Islamic banks in Malaysia since October 2015. However, only 6 banks currently offering M uh, Musharaka Mutarakisa as their home financing product. So in this study, we will focus on home financing products based on Musharaka Mutarakisa in RHB Islamic Bank Berhad only. So this study aims to find out more about the challenges, how RHB applies Musharaka Mutarakisa in their banking products, how this product operates in RHB Islamic Bank as well as the advantages and also the issues that arise related to this contract. Proceeding with the concept of Musharaka. So the first one is the definition. As we all know, Musharaka came from Arabic word which is Shirka and literally meaning as a partnership and technical meaning Musharaka is a partnership between two or more persons that formed by a contract to look agreement which is uncut by operation of Islamic law in which all partners share the benefits and bear the loss, which is profit loss sharing. 
So these are the legitimacy of Musharraka. It has been stated clearly in Al Quran, Sunnah, and Ijma. Even though some of the juries has different opinions about some of the elements of the Musharraka, but they all agree that Musharraka is a permissible contract and Sharia compliance, and we can apply this Musharraka in Islamic finance nowadays. These are the type of the Musharraka, and I think that you all has been exposed like many times about these types of musharaka and i also believe that each one of you can define every type of the musharaka that has been stated here like what is shirka al-mail shirka al-aqad and so on so these are the components of musharaka that has been stated in the bank negara malaysia so the first one is contracting parties which has to be natural person conditions of the contract which will agree and is that a state that it has to be muslim so you can also make it a partner with a non-muslim as long it is a sharia compliance project and the second one is Sirah, which has to be included in Ijab and Qabul. And the third one is management. Either you appoint one of your partners to manage the project or you appoint a third party manager. And the fourth one is capital, which has to be visible, available, and reachable. And the other one is profit and loss. The next is the application of Musharaka, which will be focusing more on the Musharaka Mutanakisah. Why? Because many of the banks using Musharaka Mutanakisah concept in their home financing contract and the concept is declining partnership, diminishing and ending with the ownership. And this Musharaka Mutanakisah is also applied in the home financing in RHB Islamic Bank Berhad. As you can see here, these are the basic chart flows of Musharaka Mutanakisah that has been provided by the Bank Gar Malaysia. So basically, most of the Islamic banking will be using these chart flows and will be proceeding deeper about how RHB Islamic Bank using this Musharaka Mutanakisah concept in the next part. This one seven point one implementation of Musharaka Mutanakisah in home financing products offered by RHB. So, like most other Islamic banks in Malaysia, RHB Islamic Banks Berhad also previously used BBA for housing for home financing and has moved to Musharaka Mutanakisah contracts. So, the results of the study found that RHB Islamic Bank offers two home financing products based on the Musharaka Mutanakisah contract, namely Equity Home Financing I and Equity My First Home Financing I. Islamic Equity Home Financing I is a Sharia compliant Islamic home financing program. It is based on the principle of diminishing musharaka, in which you and the bank jointly acquire the property and you pay rent for the bank's share, which will gradually buy your share or shares in the partnership until you pay off your equity and the bank in full. So uh, it offers zero entry cost and mortgage reducing term takaful MRTT policies and can also be financed with the loan to lower the borrower's upfront up cost. Next, we go to the operational of Equity Home Financing I. According to RHB Islamic Bank Berhad, basically Equity Home Financing I can be structured using the following step. Firstly, customer identify the property want to be purchased. Customer need sign, seal and purchase agreement as MP and pays deposit of house price and applies for financing interests. The ratio of bank and uh, customer is 10 and 19. And then the second uh, operation is once the application is approved by RHB Bank, the customer and the bank enters into musharaka arrangement. And third, customer lists the bank's share in the house. The fourth customer will pay an amount in addition to the rental to buy the bank's unit in the property by paying rent to the bank. And lastly, for the fifth, the customer will receive a final notice, fulfillment notice from RHBIB, which will state that the customer has fully owned the home individual and the partnership will be terminated with the customer owning 100% of the house. Equity My First Home Financing I, the facility, is an exclusive home financing scheme that offers financing up to 99.99%, which aims to help Malaysians own a first home with a property value up to 500000 This guarantee scheme allows eligible applicants who are first home buyers with a monthly gross household income of up to 5000 to buy a house up to 300,000 and 10,000 to buy a house up to 500,000. So this product is calculated based on variable rates and you 
offer your property as a guarantee for this of this financing. Here you can see the operation of roughly the operation of equity my first home financing. Okay, as you can see at the table, you can see that it has three package offers for these products and the details is as you can see right there. Thank you. Hi, my name is Kuna Shazwani. I will tell about advantages of home financing in Musharaka Mutana Risa by RHB Islamic Bank Berhad. First, flexibility to pay in installment. Home buyers can get an early settlement which just give notice or information to bank to ensure the, the application has been processed as soon as possible. Second, exclude from paying an installment payments for a specified length of time which means when natural disaster happens like flood, storm or landslide, the home buyers get an exclude payment for 6 months. So the home buyers can fix the home first. That is responsible for the expense for offices the house that has been damaged because of disaster. Cost of repairing the residence that has been damaged because of disaster will pay by house owner takaful that include in fire takaful's package. Since agreement has been made, the bank made an obligation to home buyers to pay this takaful. Lastly, home buyers just need to pay via takaful only once. Usually, they need to pay on annual basis. And through this, home buyers can save their money. Next is the issues of Mushara Kahmatana Kisah product in RHB Islamic Bank. So, for the first issues is about rental interest rate. So as you can see in the slide, the terms of interest rate was changed into profit rate to make it sound Islamic. However, the bank including RHP Islamic Bank continues to use the conventional rate as a standard to prevent themselves which is the bank from getting any losses. So for the second issue is about banks are not willing to share the same loss and risk. So basically, the banks are not sticking to the real concept of Mushara Kamatana Kisa because the banks Instead, the banks are ignoring this matter and they just want to maximize their profit while ignoring this matter. And for the last issue is refinancing house. So as you can see in the slide, this issue is quite news for RHB Islamic Bank because RHB Islamic Bank has offered the same product of house financing under Musharakah Matanagisa. Next is the challenges of Musharaka Matanikisa product in RHB Islamic Bank. So for the first one is, this product is not provided for the low-level family. So as you can see in this slide, RHB Islamic Bank and other Islamic banking only provide this product for the middle and high-level family only. This is because the banks wants to reduce the rate of NPL, which is non-performance loan to the customer. And also, the banks also wants to get rid of NPL in order to prevent them from getting any losses and for the second one is to promote Musharaka Mutanikisa product so basically promoting Musharaka Mutanikisa product to the public is quite hard and it is quite hard to convince public to use this product because as you can see in the slide there will be some objection by the customer from using this product because this product was quite was not famously used and were not recognized by the public so basically it is hard to promote uh, it is challenging to promote Musharaka Mutanagisa product to the public so that's all from me the conclusions are firstly as we know Musharaka Mutanagisa is Sharia compliant then by Misaman Ajil that have been called BBA and it also emphasized an achievement of Mahasri Sharia which is protect the wealth through fraud, distribution and management. Second, achieve socio-economic code. This contract not just focusing on profit, but it also advancing on Islamic value and standard, standard without sacrificing their financial viability. Third, lighten and ease home buyers' burden through advantages that has been given by RHB Islamic Berhad. Like, if natural disaster happens, home buyers does not need to pay within six months. Last but not least, the suggestion is need cooperation from various parties like an economic scholars to um, for, 
to ensure musharka mutanakisa more accessible to all types of group, yet still maintaining maintaining commercial value. Types of group is like from high, medium, and low income groups. So that's all from us. Thank you for watching and stay safe.